Let's go. Hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to answer a very important question because I got this YouTube comment a few days ago where this guy's like, hey, wear a mask, you're going to get the coronavirus. And I thought to myself, hmm, good point. So what is the likelihood of me actually getting the coronavirus in street food every day? Because I'm literally, I'm like running around Bangkok. I'm eating street food from different street vendors and just generally mingling in with the population. What are the odds of me getting the coronavirus? What are the chances of me actually contracting this thing, getting quarantined and probably having a very, very miserable time? So I decided to do some digging and find out. But first, I need to get ready. Let's go. So I did some preliminary digging and there's a lot of sensationalist things online. So a lot of places being overly negative and overly fearful, I think <coughs> because they want clicks, they want people to read their newspaper, that kind of thing. So I came across this Healthline article and inside of this Healthline article, it said, hey, there's nothing to be worried about. However, if you look at the date, that was on the 6th of February. That's almost a month ago. A lot has happened since then. So, you know, things seem to be spreading quite a lot. I mean, China is looking horrendous. South Korea, Japan, Italy, Iran. Iran has suffered the highest number of coronavirus deaths outside of China, with 15 dead and 95 cases reported. On Monday, the country's deputy health minister went on TV, insisting the Iranian government had the coronavirus under control. But the very next day, it was announced that he himself had contracted the virus. There just seems to be a lot going on, so I need to do a bit more digging, and more specifically, I need to find out what running around eating street food is going to do for me in terms of catching this thing. It doesn't look like a mask offers you the kind of protection that you think that it would. And that YouTube comment did say, hey, wear a mask or you're gonna get it. Um, but it still passes as droplets through your eyes, through your, and through the mask itself as well. So one of the things they did say is they did say avoid live animal markets, which I do avoid. However, it also says avoid surfaces where animals were cooked. And I'm going, okay, so just don't eat animals. Is that the solution to this problem? But it still hasn't told me how likely I am to get it. Am I really putting myself in danger by eating so much street food? The answer may be yes. Deadly coronavirus finds breeding ground in China's food markets. Am I essentially doing the same by going to Thai food markets? I suppose not techie a market, but you put a bunch of street carts together and it becomes a market, so It seems like I'm trying to find a way to keep eating street food while patting myself on the back saying, it's okay, <laughs> the coronavirus ain't gonna get me. <sighs> but maybe I need to face up to reality. <laughs> looks like street food's out the question. There's nothing I can find that tells me that it's okay to eat street food. So it does seem like it's a risk. But the thing is, what I want to know, like, what is the risk? Because there's a risk of me dying when I cross the street. Uh, but as a young, healthy adult in my 30s, um, what are the odds really of me contracting this thing and getting seriously ill. 
I'm here at home right now to do a little bit more research before I go out today and, and eat some street food. So, if I was to actually play the statistics, between 8 and 14% of the elderly who've contracted the disease in China have died. However, it's a much lower percentage for men and women around about my age. Way lower, about between 1 and 2.5% of them. That's still a very high percentage, but it seems like Outside of China, the figure is more like 0.7% overall. And then actually dying from the disease is vanishingly small. However, things can change. That's with the information that we have now. And I'm not an expert in this at all. I think there's a bigger question here because the best case scenario is that about a million people or so few million people get infected and the worst case scenario is that 550 million just in China get infected and it will peak around between March and May that's what they think do you want to kind of lock yourself up for the next few months and being miserable that's what my life is without street food absolutely miserable I think the answer is no Given the information I have, I'm just going to do what I do. But this is not a recommendation for you to do the same. This is just what I'm going to do. myself some grilled chicken and some rice <laughs> from the street so uh, let's go to the park to enjoy this I think it might rain so you might see me running in a minute I've got lovely little spicy sauce I think it's I think it's like a half chicken like a whole half chicken here it's incredible for 65 baht that's like two dollars uh, and that includes the rice here, which is awesome. So my only problem is I haven't got a container or any knives and forks. So got to use hand sanitizer. My hands are ridiculous. That is so delicious with the spicy sauce and the sticky rice. I'd highly recommend that. Really nice. That was amazing, but now I've got to wash my hands. Oh, 
so good. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Bit of chilli went up my nose so it's absolutely burning so anyway so this was a video that was a little different to my usual video uh hopefully you liked it it's a bit more serious and i know you guys come to youtube for a little bit of a laugh i'll see you in the next video where i'm gonna eat some more stuff haha <laughs>